Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the Space Pickle series for Radish Space Industries and on this episode we are building the Bubble Space Telescope. So uh, I've got this part from one of the mods, many many mods that I've got installed. Probably should look at what I've got and it's got this big kind of Hubble Space Telescope thing on it so I wanted to try and make something of it and try and put a telescope into orbit I thought it would be quite fun and uh, we'll say it's a government kind of funded mission we'll go with that and uh, this is just the build phase of uh, of it we just trying to make something that looks half decent and um, putting solar panels on and uh, a communitron to contact uh, Kerbal Space Center, Radish HQ, and you can just yeah you can just see my the method of my madness for most of it. So I've gone for a monopropellant style craft. So um, I wanted to make something that would be able to maneuver into new orbits and uh, had plenty of decent controls. It's got a, a reaction wheel in there, plenty of battery, and. Uh, a docking port if we should ever want to do maintenance or stick it on something and fire it off somewhere else because there's not that much Delta V in this bad boy but uh, the other thing I want to do is to make sure it would fit in the Jaguar launch system I've got which is kind of like to be honest my most most used launch vehicle throughout the first season and um, I used it a number of times to launch parts to the to the Broseb space station. So there it is. And it's all all of its glory on the launch pad. Slightly uh, large fairing there. Just a few bits sticking out, so fortunately it wasn't so big that it was uh, top heavy. It, it, it flew okay in the end. And I think literally nearly everything I've put into orbit, or I've launched with uh, this Jaguar system I've got, has been pretty bloody successful. I've never built anything that just seems to just work every time. It might be just a more of a me problem than, the, than your average Kerbal player, but it just works nicely. It's got two big SRBs on the flanks, and it's powered by that main sail, it's two and a half meter. Um, fuel tanks as well and off go our SRBs there so obviously this is me trying to recreate the Hubble Space Telescope I'll be honest, I don't think this is going to have quite the same, quite the same impact as what that's done for, for, for sort of, for, for science. Obviously, the the Hubble is a, is really just a, an awesome piece of of kit that's done so much for, um, science and it's found so much, um, and obviously now it's it's got a spiritual successor with the James Webb telescope which is pretty exciting I'm really excited to see what that comes up with I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna be a when it's up and running it's gonna be picking stuff up left right and center so we're just doing our final orbital burn there and pop goes the fairing Let's get those uh, solar panels and other bits out and uh, ready to ready to go. So I wanted to put it in uh, kind of an orbit between the men and the minimus. I thought that'd be a good place. You don't want it too close to Kerbin. Thought about putting it in like a Keo or Geosyn uh, sort of orbit. But I thought I'd stick it between the, the two moons and uh, it can stay there out of harm's way. So about there. 
about there I went for. Hopefully not going to get an encounter with Mim Mess. Fortunate its uh, sphere of influence is pretty small. Looks pretty good there. Quite happy with how it looked. I'll have to work out what um, mod it's come from. I think it's one of the Tarsier or Tarsier mod packs. I think it's more more for looks rather than actually any function. I don't think it does too much. They've got a little mini James Webb telescope as well. I've noticed, but it's pretty awful. It's just like literally a webcam, basically. So I I had added that to the. Uh, to the to the bro sub station but um it doesn't do much it is yeah it's literally like having a webcam on the side and we're nearly into our sort of got our apoapsis to the height we want it to be so now it's just a case of uh burn baby burn Clearly missed my uh, my cue there, didn't I? Burn. I was uh, looking to burn a bit late there, so it's uh, increased a wrap abscess. That's not what I was aiming for there. <laughs> Goodbye, second stage. Now on our little puff engines, or whatever they're called. Is it puff? I think they're called. They just yeah, they they just use the mono propellant, which is basically the same stuff you use to sort of uh, you know those little RCS blocks that you use to kind of control yourself and dock and stuff. So we've got a big big mono propellant tank on there. And this is our final orbital kind of adjustment and um, happily in orbit we left a bit of space junk which is unfortunate so we open those doors and here's our telescope and look again it's 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 bloody like like the other one it's basically just a fancy webcam i was a bit disappointed i won't be i won't lie i thought oh let's let's try and focus on a planet like jewel will it pick it up will it bollocks it's it yeah look I thought oh what's that it's nothing I think it's just like some sort of crappy reticle yeah we'll pretend that that's an amazing telescope it can see into the next bloody dimension or something but uh, that's it thank you for watching guys and stay awesome